Hello everybody, it's me again and we're gonna create uh, a new app to show you how to use the human interface guide, uh, iOS human interface guide, particularly the icons, some of the icons. Uh, so I've created this app called HIG and a app and click on next, create. Now if you look at this, when we run this app, Usually, you don't have an icon. You get this white icon in the background. On your, and your, so if I'm going to stop it. It's just to show you. If you look at the simulator, here's your simulator. We got this one here, which is, what did we call it? I, see that icon? It doesn't look like any, uh, it doesn't look ne uh, nice, and it doesn't have a custom icon. So how do we add our own icon? First, you see this app icons in the project setting. You see app icons. So what are we looking for? Is that we're looking something for app icon in the asset catalog. So in the asset catalog, here's your asset catalog, and then if you click on it, you have app icon. Right now, it's empty, and you need to set these icons. Now, to set these icons, you have to actually adhere to iOS specifications. So how do I do this? How do I know what the specifications? Well, it's straightforward. What you need to do first, you need to go to uh, Google, for example, and search for app icon uh, tab bar sizes, or you can just look for uh, Apple iOS human interface guide. Okay, so either one is fine. So if I go in here, and type in, I don't know what the icon sizes are, so you can say icon sizes for iOS, okay, and then you click on it, and then you get this one, first one, which is the iOS human interface guide. Now, that has a lot of information that you need in order to publish your app. So if you look at that, one of them is the, a table that contains the different sizes for different devices of uh, of your icons, not only the icons, but there are other like launch images, spotlights, tab bar icons. So let's start with the app icons. So your app icon, if I'm running it on iPhone 6, it has to be 180 by 180, and if iPhone 6 Plus times 2 X, it has to be 120 by 20, and then so forth. So this will tell you what sizes you should have your icon. And this, when you want to publish it, it has the icon has to be this size. So one recommendation to do this, you don't, you can't design your icon at small size and then enlarge it because you lose your pixelation. You, I mean, you get your image will be pixelated and you lose the quality. So what do you need to do? You design your icon about this size whether you use Photoshop, uh, Adobe Illustrate, any software that allows you to do that, and save it at this size, and then you can always shrink it to these sizes, all right? The other one that is important to us here is that the tab bar, you see this tab bar? The tab bar icon sizes, it can be one of those, all right? And the tab bar can, uh, sizes cannot be like an image. They have to have grayscales, they're a special, uh, they are actually almost like drawn, okay? Uh, and I'll show you how we can get those. Now, if we go, if I want to get some icons, and I draw these icons, how do I, uh, if I want to, let's do this one first, how do we get these icons? Well, I have a great tool that you should use. There is something called, if you go to the App Store, there is something called Prepo. And if you look at, uh, where is the App Store? There it is. If you look at the App Store and then search for something called Prepo. Okay, and I didn't type it correctly. Prepo. Okay, what does this software do? It's a great utility that allows you to resize any images into the icons sizes for iOS. Now, I have already downloaded it. You can download it. There are other ones, but I like this one so because it's easy to use. So what, do you can, what you can do, I'm going to leave this here aside. And let's open this prepo. Here is my prepo. 
Uh, I'm gonna close this uh, and then add new one. No, I don't wanna save. Let me just show you how it looks like when you first started. Here it is, right? So what do you do in here? You just find an image. Of course, this is an image out of a website or a camera. So let's say I have an image in the cameras here. Uh, I don't know if I can find an image here. Here is a tennis game. I was at a tennis game. So I, here is an image for Federer. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to drag this image into here. And automatically it will create all the sizes I want. And then export this. Okay, you do export. And I'm going to create a new folder on the desktop. I'm going to call it icons. Okay, and then you hit create. And then choose. Okay. And then I should have these images in here. All right, all the images, all the icons in here. Now all I need to do, drag them and drop them in the right spot. So for example, I need the small 29. I think this is that one, small icon, small 2x. This is the 29. How do I know? You can just open it with, or just click on get info and it'll tell you the size. This is 58 by 58. Okay. Uh, and it will actually guide you to tell you if this is wrong or not. Okay, so I'm going to drop this one here. Tell me if that's okay or not. If you don't get a warning, then it's fine. So this one, the small, you're fine for the 3x. Now this one is a little bit bigger, 40 points. So I have 40 points here. Do you see that? 40 points. Drag it in here. And then here you have another 40 points, 3x. You drag it in here. Then you have iPhone. 60 points, so 60 point is here, 2x, and then 2x, okay, 2x and 3x in here. Now, if, let's say I put the wrong size and the wrong one of those ones. So, for example, I put this, you see you got a warning, and that warning tells you, if you click on that warning, it tells you that you're, you're putting an icon 144 by 44, and you expect it is, what, 58 by 58. So, that's how you know that you did the right thing, okay? So we're okay. Now, if I run the application, I should get an icon instead of the, here it is, you see it? You see it? it's in my device. Hardware, go home. And I have my app, which is the image I took. So just as easy as that, of course, if you want to, do your own thing, like if you want to draw your icon, that's is a lot more difficult, right? You have to draw the icon, and then you can convert it using this tool, or you can use the, the editing software to resize it if you want. But I find this tool to be great, Crapo. All right, what about the stat bar? If I embed this, if we go back to the storyboard, If we go to the storyboard, and then I'm gonna embed this into a tab bar. So you go to editor, embed this in a tab bar. Now, here is your tab bar navigation. Here is an item. I'm gonna call it this right now, it says an item. Item one, whatever. Screen one, whatever you wanna call it. This would be the title, but how about the image? I don't have any images that I can select from. Why? Because the images that I have are not the right sizes. So what do I do? How do I include images in here? Well, one way, let's try these images that we have. Here's my assets. I can add another image here, for example, icons. And I have one that is small, which is that one, 29 by, I think, which one is it? It was this one, okay? If I drag it and drop it in here into the asset uh, folder, let's, let me open the asset folder first. And then I drag it into here just to show you. 
So I get one into my image. You can create a folder if you want, and then you add that image in there. So a small icon. Now, if I go to here, and I should see that image, but the problem is, you see that? You can't see, it's actually, you can't see it. When you run it, it looks like a black box. Because the PNG, the color, they do not work for these, uh, for these tab icons. So what is your solution? Well, your solution, you can draw it yourself, or, Another way you can do it is just you go to Google and type in um, tab bar icons icons for iOS and then you get this download 800p icons so you can do that and here is the these the icons. See how they are gray. I mean, they are grayscale, and then they're actually they're just black and white. And then you can change the thing color on them. Okay, and you can download those, and then you will be able to include your application. You'll be able to include these into your uh, app. All right. So that's it for the icons and the assets uh, file, uh, and some of the tab bar images. Okay, and I will see you on the next video.